I just hope there's no cultural appropriation. Pop the twist, though. Oh, make you want to do the dance. Yeah, no, the video is not gonna go like that. But let me give you my thoughts. Actually, first, let me slip into my accent. We are going Greek for this video. So Jarul made the nut for Papa Christo. Not so much. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> so Jarul made the nut for Papa Christo, a Greek restaurant in the USA, and it's. Uh, how do I put this? It's special. It make you wanna. Yo mama! You got to have Peters! Peters! Papa They got everything. I'ma just give you a rundown of some of my favorites. They got tzatziki. If you don't mind the garlic breath, tzatziki is the nectar of the gods, man. It's so good. Oct... Uh, hold on. Octopodakia. Well, uh, whatever, but it's good. Octopodakia. Yeah, it's basically roasted octopus, but we don't pronounce or even write the O at the start. <laughs> yeah, that is a dish, but no one makes it and no one eats it. It can be a sauce, but no one will eat it as is. I don't know why they would advertise that. Literally meat pie. We don't eat it as takeout food, but it's great. And they got wine too. Pop Christo's got the best motherfucking gyros, gyros. You ever fing ate in your life. The people who think this is over the top are the people that haven't tasted Greek food. Every minute a Greek mama is getting slapped from people that order takeout. Ma, τι θα φάμε σήμερα; Οπτεποδικία. In the USA, it's pretty rare that they serve actually good Greek food. Like I remember in the Big Bang Theory, they ordered lamb kebab. First of all, if you call a souvlaki kebab in Greece, you will get shot. And second, no one eats fucking lamb souvlaki with pork or chicken. I literally have never tasted lamb souvlaki in my life. Okay, I don't want this accent to get stuck this way, so that's enough of that. Here are the details. <clears throat> Here are the details. Jarul is was a pretty successful rapper that fell from glory after some unfortunate events regarding tax evasion and illegal gun possession that put him in jail for two years. After some low impact acting attempts and his wife spreading rumors that he was having sexual relations with his cellmate, his career was over. Until he created Fire Media and organized the Fire Festival. Oh, there it goes down in flames. For those who don't know what the Fire Festival is, it was a huge dumpster fire of a scam. They advertised that the visitors would be living in huge villas in a private island where they would be attending music festivals of hugely popular artists and instead they got... Well, not that. You should definitely watch the Internet Historian's video on it. It's an incredible documentary of what transpired in that event. Anyway, after that, Jarul disappeared. Oh my god, this is terrible. Could somebody please find Jarul, get hold of this motherfucker so I can make sense of all this? Where is Jarul? Add me, Jarul. Then he popped right back into the spotlight with this ad. Contrary to what most people thought, Jarul didn't make this ad for the money. He did it as a part of his new show where he helps little businesses he likes after they took a hit from the social distancing measures. So yeah, it's probably done for the publicity to override some of the fire he got from the music festival. Lastly, about the cultural appropriation thing. I don't believe any Greek will mind. We're always happy to see our culture being displayed by other people. But that use of OPA... meh... I finally understand how Mexican people feel when the white lady responds with Gracias! Eh, it's fine. See you next time. Namaste. Evidently, he's also a big fan of Papa Cristo's Octopodakia and Avogaluminos soup, despite not being able to pronounce them.
Yeah, I wouldn't cast any stones there. 